All right, welcome back. Now, if you saw where we left off last, I've been working on the Daytona Violet E36M3. Last video, I did a fuel filter, kind of went over the maintenance items that we will be doing in this little short series, and I did get to pulling the intake manifold off, and that's kind of where I left the car. So if you have seen the last video, I'm picking up exactly where I left off. And if you haven't, I'll link it down below so you can check that out first if you would like to. I got no time to waste, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that I wanna tackle on this car with the manifold off is pulling this oil filter housing. Just know if you are doing this job in itself, just the oil filter housing, it is physically possible for you to do the job without pulling the manifold. But for the sake of sanity and because I'm doing plenty of other maintenance items underneath the manifold, it just makes it easier to pull that first. I'm still gonna wait to drain coolant and pull everything from the cooling system. We'll worry about water lines kind of as we're patching everything back up. So in order to get this housing off, we're just gonna pull the clutch fan here. You need to pull the main serpentine belt. Uh, you don't have to pull it all the way off. It just needs to get off of the pulleys so we can remove the alternator and uh, make sure your battery is disconnected, of course. But it's only a few bolts once you've got the manifold off or if you don't have it off, then you can still get it done. But considering we're replacing the high pressure line, the gasket, I wanna clean everything anyway, so. We're just gonna take as much apart so it's easy for the job. Okay, so as you may or may not be able to see, I have the alternator off, so we have an open area to work with, and now we can really get a better look at um, how much oil seepage we have. And this high pressure line is completely soaked, so I'm gonna get that off next. So we need to pull this off, and then I'll work on pulling the housing off. Housing is ready to come off. Um, just need to disconnect the power steering pump from this main bracket on the oil filter housing and then this thing can come right out. Man, take a look at how filthy this block is. From the block down to the pan, even the rack down there is just covered in grease. As you can see, you do have to uh, take the steering power steering pump off. It's a few bolts. Um, I would normally zip tie that up to something to kind of support it, but given that we're replacing uh, the high pressure lines, I don't really care. But yeah, here I am being the one that preaches, you know, maintenance is key and my shit looks like this. I've had this car for three years, yes, and I should have gotten to it, but um, this car I think has lived a pretty hard life before me. So basically just catching this thing up to all the maintenance that it deserves. I'm sure you can tell by now. It's a little dirty in there. That is the least favorite part of the job. It shouldn't ever be like this again, but uh, yeah, least favorite part is just all this cleaning. This job would have been done like a couple hours ago if I didn't have to clean everything up. I'm gonna show you the old power steering setup and uh, we'll just kind of go over what we're replacing with that 
And then I'll show you the oil filter housing, the new gaskets, bolts, and everything like that as well. And we'll probably clean this up and start to reassemble everything. If you're gonna overhaul the power steering system, you might as well do the oil filter housing gasket and vice versa. It's just they're both kind of messy and they're in the same area, so you might as well knock them both out. So as you can see, we have quite a bit of room in here now that the power steering reservoir is out. The block is a little bit cleaner now that I've sprayed some degreaser on it. There's still quite a ways to go. I'm gonna get under there, try and clean the rack up a little bit. If I could and I wasn't on a time crunch, I would just pull this entire engine out. It just, that would make the most sense to get it as clean as possible. So I'm gonna just do the best of my ability, do it while it's in the car. I have cleaned the oil filter housing as good as I think it's worth. If you buy a power steering kit, likely you will be replacing all of this aside from the pump, of course. So you'll have all of these components, won't need to worry about cleaning all this stuff up. You should additionally have the line that comes out of the rack that is still in the car. But um, generally speaking, if you buy a kit, you'll, you'll have everything you need. So as soon as I'm done cleaning this up, it'll be time for reassembly. Uh, but I have a lot of cleaning to do, so we'll see how long that takes. Tell them bring out the whole, whole ocean. ocean. Hey, bro, you think you can spot me on this? What you got, bro? I'm oh. gonna bring this up. Yeah, yeah, where does it mount? Uh, it mounts to the engine arm right there. We have to line that up. These never really fit super sick, so you kind of have to bend this, or I have to bend this return. Oh, I had to do that, yeah. Call me Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Call me Cinnamon Toast cinnamon Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Is Roblox. <laughs> 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 Life. Roblox. Alright fellas, trombone is mounted. Holy shit, this rack is disgusting. I don't hear that very often. Let's go golf. Dude, how you got it so good? Dude, I don't even know how to keep a stack with you right now. Bro is locked into the let's go golfing. The let's go golfing lore? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Hey yo, this shit was silver underneath. That's crazy. This is BMW's natural rust prevention though, doing its work. All right, now finally at last, I have pretty much everything that I can do currently installed. I got a decent amount of things done today. The entire power steering system has been replaced, so we're all good there. I think the GoPro died at some point, reinstalling the high pressure line, but the pump is reinstalled. I tried to clean it, as best as I could. Oil filter housing, cleaned it as best as I could, as well as the block and basically anything that I could reach, I cleaned. It looks decent. It's definitely not where I want it to be, um, but it will hold me over until I'm ready to do the engine out refresh on this. I do not know what this car will be long-term if I do put something else in it, because that is what I've always wanted to do with this car. I know it kills the value, but um, I don't ever plan on parting with this car, so it just, I don't really mind. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different things I'd love to do with this car. So I've done pretty much everything that I can do currently. I still do not have the radiator and I still do not have my thermostat. So while yes, I could drain the coolant and start on the cooling system, I think I'd rather wait because I know for a fact I can knock that out in a day and I'd rather not have it completely taken apart uh, if I don't have to. I think I'm gonna order a few more things under the manifold here, but you can see New pressure switch is installed along with the oil filter housing. I did clean the pump up the best of my ability. The new feed and return, um, the whole trombone as I like to call it, the return line is completely replaced. So everything power steering wise, there should be no leaking, no seepage. The only thing that might be seeping is the rack, but uh, that's another issue for another time. I just uploaded the first video in this part series um, and it's been doing really well so thank you for supporting these videos if you like this kind of stuff consider subscribing it really helps me out um, but the support has been really good recently so I really appreciate it but yeah that's gonna wrap up 
my day here at the shop. I don't really have anything else to do. So I'm gonna get home, get to ordering, and uh, I'll see you guys next.